I'm going to go to the green room now. I'm going to go grab somebody. I'm going to be happy to go get someone. I'm going to go get Christine here. And guys, if you've been on before, let me know because I'm going to make sure to bring other people on. So I'm going to go get Christine. So Christine. Hi, Christine. Hi, Jay. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you? I'm okay. Good. Well, I'm glad it's better than not okay, right? Yeah. Yes. So tell me, where are you from? Sudbury. Are you from my hometown? Yeah. Oh, ever nice. Um, Christine, can I ask you, do you have, um, is there a march around you or like 3 or 12 or 21 or 30? March 29th. Yeah. Who is that? My father. Uh, okay. It's just because I'm seeing three right away around you. And three for me is either March, which is the third month, or threes can also be the third, the 12th, one plus two is three, the 21st, no, of any month. It's or my the father. Or the 30th. Yeah. And it's like one or the other. It could be one and that. Is there anybody also in August? And if not, no, and if not eight, 17 or 26? Uh, my grandmother was September 26th. Her That's her, eh? Okay. Because I have an eight coming through with that. Okay. I don't know who they belong to, but they're together. Because for me, they'd be together. Okay. They were very close yeah. when they were both but they're together for me because like the thing is, it's just that I get the eight. So if it's not August, which is the eighth month, it's the eighth of any month or the 17th one plus seven is eight or two plus six is eight. But I didn't know which month. Okay. So that clearly comes through. Was there congestive heart or enlarged heart around someone else? My grandfather on my dad's side. Yeah. Because that heart, heart, big time heart problem though. Okay. This yeah. is not just a heart attack and I dropped dead. This is, I had heart problems. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So they make me feel like that. Cause if it's not, it's like a heart failure of some kind. So they make me feel that this is the cause of my death or the cause of most of my problems in my life. Is he the one with the gout? I, I am unsure if he had gout, but did he have one like screwed up or something? That's my father. Oh, that's your dad. What was wrong with his leg? He got shot in the ankle by his brother when they were kids and he had a lip. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. BB gun or pellet yeah. gun. Wow. Anyways, you've got better things coming, honey. Pardon me? Better things coming. They just make me feel better around you. So don't worry so much. You're worried about something. I don't know what the hell it is, but they make me feel you're worried way too much. You think about it, you think about it, you think about it. Oh my God. And they just make me feel like, oh, and you ask and you ask for favors, you do. And the thing is, you've been asking the right people. So they're going to bring you things, but not exactly as you'd like them because there's lessons to be learned somehow. What the lessons are, they're not for you, they're for someone else. Okay. So you're going to have to be patient. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but that's the way I have to tell you. I think you understand it. You know what I mean? I think you understand it. And it's, sometimes it's not ours to carry. Sometimes it's someone else's to carry without going into too much detail. Okay. Yeah. So there's something preventing you from being able to do what you really want to do. But I think that's on purpose. Do you understand? Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So sometimes we want to do things our hands are tied but there's good reason for it and, and it's because they don't want you assisting like that right away sometimes people need to learn hard lessons and it's not hard it's 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 it's, it's hard for us to watch them go through something you know or watch people suffer more than they have to but sometimes it's that suffering that kind of kicks them out of their rut and kind of makes them want to dust themselves off and go holy shit i just hit rock bottom now i gotta change my shit you know? Exactly. So, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yep. Yeah. But anyways, that's where I'm going with that. But that's what your dad says. So he's Is that why he's thing. been around me? He's because around you a lot. Yeah. But you talk to him a lot. You've been asking for favors. Actually, from I've been asking him to stay away. Well, the he's thing is... 
Okay, so what you need to do then is you need to tell them why. I did. It's not working. I feel oh. like he's coming more and more the more I ask him to stay away. Okay, is there something unresolved within yourself about your dad? Oh, yeah. Huge. That's probably why. And the thing is, on the other side, when the spirit crosses through, they don't bring the human ego with them anymore. So let me tell you a quick story. Before we come into being, let's use myself an exam as an example. This did not happen to me. I'm just making pretend, but I just want you to understand. But I'm going to use me as an example, okay? So before I come into being, let's say my dad and I made an agreement to come into this world, and he was going to be my sexual abuser, okay? And I made a very loving agreement with him to go through a very nasty sexual abuse from the time I'm six until I'm 12 and until I threaten to kick his ass and kill him in his sleep. Okay. Do you understand? I, I totally understand more than you even know. Okay. I'm using this example for a reason. Yeah. Do you understand? Okay. So now my dad and I come here, I'm born into this world. I have these terrible experiences. I could choose one of two things. I could choose to like not do anything about it and just grow the rest of my life like hating his guts and thinking he's a fucking asshole for what he did to me, right? Right? And I could do all of that or I could say, look, okay, what's happened to me has happened to me and I really need to get over this. And I made this agreement with him to learn exactly what I didn't want in my life because I don't want to give that to my kids. I don't want this to happen to my kids and I don't want it to happen to anybody else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go help other people with that. Or maybe I'm going to talk to somebody I think might be being abused and I'm going to tell them my story and share my pain so that they don't feel so alone and that they know they can do something about it. Sometimes it's as simple as that. But it's to take that fucking shitty lesson and to make it a good one. Do you understand? And it's hard to do that because we're stuck in those four walls. We're stuck in those four walls. We're a child. We're afraid. This is the person that I'm supposed to trust with my fucking life. And they fucked me. Do you understand? So could you imagine the pain people go through when I feel that? And the thing is, at the end of the day, you have to live your life like this and think, okay, you fucking son of a bitch, why the fuck did you do that to me? You stay away from me, you hate your fucking guy. Now, they go and they die. So we're still pissed off here, right? We're still pissed off because the fucking asshole is dead now, right? And now I can curse them out. I can curse them every goddamn day. And a lot of people do that. But the thing is, I think that's a good thing. You need to tell that soul how you feel. You need to put it and say why. But the thing is, you have to understand that when they go through, they understand the lo loving agreement that was made between two souls very lovingly before coming here. When you die, or when I die, or whoever dies, they understand those lessons. They understand them. They do. And the thing is, you'll have a total understanding of why you went through that. Mostly, very highly evolved souls go through a shit show when they decide to come back here, much tougher lives. But the thing is, is because you're tougher, you know more, you're highly evolved soul, and you have the power to take it back. You have the power to help other people through the pain that you've gone through. And one of the reasons why I do this job is because I've gone through different pain in my life. But I think that I've got enough together now to understand what my lessons were supposed to be so that I can help other people this way. That's why I do this. Because trust me, it's not easy to do this job. It's hard because you get a lot of scrutiny. and People think you're just taking advantage of others. But I don't give a shit what people think of me because I don't care. It's not my business what they think of me. But I care enough about you to be able to use myself as an example. Do you understand that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you feel a release? A little bit. Good girl. You need a session. You do. You need a one on one because you need to release and let go, sweetheart. You really do. Oh, I know. Yeah, you do. You got too much pent up in here and you're mad at somebody that's not 
able to feel your human emotions the, the way you'd like them to, you know what I mean? And you don't have any closure because you're really pissed off. And I think that your grief, we love our parents as much as they hurt us. We love them, right? And the thing is, it's hard to separate that. This is the person that you're supposed to trust the most, right? And the thing is, I think that they come around us because, like, my dad didn't come see me for 14 years. My dad, as much as I loved him, my dad was difficult. <sighs> now, shut the fuck up. People are think you're crazy. Call this tabarnak. I'm a threatened fullness. See, call this the young tabarnak. Oh, but my dad was so nice in front of everyone else. And I understand my dad's anger now because he was afraid. I mean, I was abused by freaking nuns in school. My dad was afraid that I was going to be hurt because my mother was a practicing psychic. And in the 60s, not a good thing for me, right? But I don't care now. I can talk about it. I don't give a shit. Why? Because the thing is, I'm not the only one that's abused in school. And for what reasons? I don't know. I'm not the only one that had a dad that, that said, God, just about not from that kind of stay in. <laughs> you know, he did it because he loved me. Didn't want to hurt. He didn't want me to be vulnerable to all these people, but shit happens. And that's how we learn what we want. That's how we learn what we don't want is through these life experiences. You have to learn how to get outside of those four walls somehow with whatever you've experienced in your life. And you need to build your own four walls and you need to feel secure in that. Once you understand the soul's journey, why we're here, where we're going after we leave and why we make these agreements, you're going to feel so much better. Even if you didn't get any messages, you will feel so much better. You really will. Because we need to know why we're here. We don't die every day. We make mistakes every day, but we don't die every day. And we're always so afraid that life is passing us by. And we can make our lives so much better with just changing certain things. And just a couple of belief systems. But most people don't believe that. And I do. I do. Wholeheartedly. You know, I quit my job in my 50s to do that. Government job with benefits. Who the hell does that when they have three years left to retire? Idiot. But you know what? I'm so much happier. I don't care. I don't care. I think of what I want. You need to do that, sweetie. Okay. Are you still getting up two, three times a night? Uh, more than that. Nine. Jeez. You're really having a hard time, eh? Yeah. Take a deep breath. You're going to be okay. I'm going to tell you that. Just need to get things in order, but I think you understood what I told you today. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Uh, you actually shocked me with your example, which was more than an example. Yeah. I'm with sorry. Came out with that. Yeah. What is it? I understand. But that's why I used it. Sorry. No, don't be sorry. That's okay. I have tears too. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> You're really pulling my heartstrings, sweetie. I just want to go there and give you a hug until your fucking eyes pop out of your head. That's what I want to do. <laughs> but anyway, sweetie. You need, you need to have a private session. I don't know if you I can agree. do that even with somebody, but make sure whatever medium that you pick to do this with really has a deep understanding of what you're going through and connects with that. Because the thing is, I pick it up right away. Yeah. Dad talks a lot, honey. I know. He doesn't stop coming to me, and I've asked him. To stop. But you know what? Smudge your area and just tell him that you can't handle him right now. And that he needs to take a step back just to give you some time. I think he'd listen to that. Spirits want to be around, but they need to understand. And the thing is, maybe part of his soul is still ground, but I feel, I feel he's gone through. I just think he had a lot of karmic lessons to go through. That's what I think. Probably. Yeah. And he's probably going through them. And maybe you're feeling them because maybe he's replaying parts of your life. Maybe that's why you're feeling the way you are, too. Yeah. I'm so sorry I got a little bit dramatic there, but Jesus okay. Christ. Oh, you kicked the shit out of me. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. You know what? Sometimes it just needs to happen like that. I want to thank you so much for trusting me with your heart and, and for just doing this. I, I bet you helped a lot of people today. I think you did. There's someone going through something that happened a couple of months ago, something to your, similar to your example. Yeah. Trying to assist, Good. but it's difficult. I know, honey, but there's reasons for it. Do you understand? 
you hit when you use that example, you hit everything. I couldn't. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I get it. Yeah. So so long as you understand, I'm so happy you do. Thank you. Take care, sweetheart. You too. Have a good day. You too. <sighs> wow, that's. Um, I usually save that for private sessions. I usually don't do something like that on a live, but I think sometimes it just needs to come out. And I think sometimes people just need to, uh, they just need to reach out and they just need to be human. And they just need to know that there's a lot of love out there for them and a lot of understanding. Whew. And uh, I'm exhausted just with that, it's crazy. But um, anyways, guys, I'm so sorry for swearing. I hope I didn't um, offend anybody, but I just, um, I just, I guess I forgot about the world for a minute. I just was thinking about her. Mm -hmm.